Key headlines from the startup world. On the hot seat today, conversational AI platform Haptic began its journey in 2013 and it now has a market share of around 30% in India. The company, which uses generative AI-powered conversations to help brands interact with their customers, is anticipating a growth of 100% on a yearly basis for the next three years. To speak about their growth journey, joining us now is Akrit Vesh, the co-founder and CEO of Haptic. Akrit, welcome to Startup Street. You've been on a decade-long journey of AI-led innovation in India. You started as a business-to-consumer brand that built personal 24-7 assistance before venturing into B2B SaaS uh, following the acquisition by Jio. Akrit, talk to us about the journey so far with the advent of generative AI. How are you leveraging that to scale even further? Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, while you were just uh, uh, talking about all the different phases, it's been quite a ride. Um, and I often uh, tell uh, people that uh, we've been trying to build chat GPT for the last 10 years. Uh, you know, that's a summary of, uh, um, you know, what Haptic has been trying to do. But, you know, it's so ironic that uh, for us, uh, this last year, the 10th year, uh, has actually been the most exciting, uh, as well as uh, an inflection point in our journey uh, with the explosion of generative AI on the scene. Uh, you know, I don't have to explain to any more, any more to people uh, what a chatbot is, what a chatbot does. I think everybody's used it, everybody's familiar. And more importantly, from a technology standpoint, um, you know, large language models and generative AI have given us all really a platform to build so many exciting things on top of. Um, you know, this is the work that LLMs have accomplished, which is either OpenAI or Google or any yeah. other companies, are years of R&D that's gone in, uh, which now is available for all of us uh, as solution providers uh, to build on top of. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's been okay. uh, uh, exhilarating, an exhilarating ride, uh, but the last few months have probably been the most exciting and, you know, uh, that makes the months and years to come uh, even more uh, uh, appealing. All right. Akrit, what's the growth you've witnessed for your offerings? If you can share some interesting use cases. And, you know, it is the 10th year, but what is the five-year growth plan for you? And if you could also share some revenue targets. Sure. Uh, we have now been growing 100% year on year for the last five years. Uh, in uh, a couple of years, in fact, it was about 150%. Um, you know, as any good uh, SaaS company would tell you, uh, I think doubling year on year is uh, really the uh, bare minimum expectation sometimes, even in these markets. And in some years, we've beaten that. Our idea is, uh, you know, continue down uh, that path this year. Again, we're looking at uh, close to doubling. Um, okay. the next year, hopefully even more given, you know, just everything in generative AI that we're building today will finally catch on in terms of customers closer to next year. Uh, so next year, we're looking at even a faster growth. Uh, from a five-year standpoint, um, you know, we have three goals. Uh, first is uh, a product goal, uh, which is that uh, we want uh, to power, uh, um, you know, a billion AI-driven interactions uh, a week. Hmm. Currently, we do a billion okay. interactions a month. We want to get to a point where we power a billion AI-driven interactions a week. Second is uh, from a global standpoint. Currently, we operate in about uh, six countries. Yes. Uh, we want to be present in... Uh, um, um, 50? 20, okay. if not 25 countries, uh, most of the developed world where uh, software is bought and sold. And then finally, the third is, uh, you know, a revenue um, and profitability metrics. We are profitable or close to at least, uh, depending okay. upon the month. Uh, and uh, revenue wise, the idea is uh, you know, we hopefully will cross uh, 100 million in annual subscription revenue soon. Sure. You know, uh, Akhtar, before I let you go, one final question. You've also launched, uh, announced the launch of a WhatsApp chatbot called GeoHaptic. Now, this chatbot will allow users to request 5G connections. However, these requests will be fulfilled based on the device compatibility and geographical proximity. If you could quickly talk to us about this offering, what's the need, uh, you know, that you're catering to? Yeah, you know, it's one of the most... Uh exciting pieces of work that we've done in all these years. Essentially, uh, uh, you know, the, the use case is that all of us uh, are using 4G devices primarily. And we are on 4G SIM cards. Uh, and as Geo being obviously our flagship customer is launching the 5G service, 
Um, what this chatbot will do is seamlessly allow you to port over to 5G as a service. Now, while porting over, you'll have questions around whether my device is compatible, uh, how do I get a 5G SIM, what are the 5G benefits, what are the 5G tariffs, and finally, how do you actually make the transition happen? So this chatbot, powered by, again, generative AI, uh, you know, is capable of answering all of those questions customized to okay. your device. So we detect mm. what device you're using, where you are, and based on that, tailor the experience to make a 5G transition absolutely seamless. Okay. All right. We've completely run out of time, Akrit, but wishing you the very best for all your growth plans. Thank you so much for joining us on Startup Street today. Thanks for having me. All right. Moving on to a CNB.